Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. Today we will deconstruct the riotslab.com. Riots? Riots? Who knows? <laughs> Let's go. We'll have a look at the riots, riotlabs.com website, which is a smart pool analyzer. So if you have a swimming pool, you enjoy the deconstruction a lot. But hopefully, even if you don't, you'll still learn something new about CSS and JavaScript animations. This water coming up is, uh, by the way, a video on top of an image. So it's a nice video, transparent video on top of an image. And the section we will be concentrating the most today in this deconstruction is this Blue Sands Timely Alert. Okay, so we'll deconstruct how this transition is happening, what is CSS and what is JavaScript. I will quickly hide all the sections we don't need. So we've got everything nice and clean. Now we can expand the section we are concentrating on and see what's happening when we click on the previous and next buttons. Okay, so let's firstly look at the HTML. There is couple wrappers for each of the blocks of content. So we've got the background images, we've got the main image container, we've got the content and the navigation left and right. So that are these four containers they all absolutely position within the home page features wrapper and now let's review the interactivity so when we click on the next button we'll see a few things animating and they all happening the animation is happening inside of the individual content so let's have a look first at the background container which moves to the right it animates translate 3d these are all JavaScript animations triggered by Greensock. As you can see, I've got the Greensock icon here, which tells me that the site is definitely using Greensock. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was a simple timeline moving couple elements left and right. Okay, so that's what's happening with the background containers. Also interesting thing here is that each of the image has on top of it a pseudo element before with a background color and mixed blend screen. Okay, so this is what creates that image. This is what creates the overlay and sort of blurry image as well. Because the container itself has a WebKit blur on it. So this is what creates the blur effect. If I make the blur a little bit bigger, like 20 pixels, you'll see how the image is very blurry. Okay, very cool effect and the image of the iPhone preview happens in the features underscore preview container or canister. That's where similar thing is happening. When we click next, the container itself is moving and also the opacity of the image coming into a view is changing as well. Okay, so these two are exactly the same animation timelines. And now let's see what's happening with the content. We'll see the two lines animating separately and the icon sort of fading into the dots and the text is also shifting from left offset. Okay, so that's all happening inside of the features underscore content. And there is a couple classes added to the elements while we clicking on the next previous and couple classes are applied and removed. So we can see that the show class is applied to the element coming into the view, hide is added to the element coming out of the view. So that's how you can control hiding and showing elements if you want also the element going outside of the view, having some transition on it, having multiple classes helps with that effect. There you have it, couple CSS and JavaScript animations deconstructed. If you've got any questions, leave them under the video. If you've got any tip on other deconstructions, let me know. I'll be more than happy to break it down for you. So you look smarter when you're explaining these tips than animations to your colleagues. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Happy coding, bye.